And, as promised, we are in uncharted waters, because today, we are having a look at the 6.5 foot animated dead water LED swamp fisherman. Say that 10 times fast. This is for both indoor and outdoor covered use. The mouth moves, he rocks, his eyes light up, the fish's eyes light up, he has one spooky phrase, and is motion activated. You can either use him with an adapter or three AA batteries. So the thing is, I'm not crazy about this guy. I don't think he's the top billing of the Home Depot lineup, not by a long shot. However, there's one Achilles heel of mine, and that is he literally is perfect for my haunted hayride this year. So he will be utilized, and I'm gonna make a couple of modifications to him. But I figured while I have him, I might as well review him for you. So, even though I'm not crazy about this fisherman guy, the thing is, Home Depot offers a good value for all of their, their Halloween stuff, in my opinion. And for $150, and it comes with the chair, I mean, I couldn't really, I couldn't really say no, especially when it fit my theme so well. So it looks like we have a little covering thing. What's neat is, do you see this? Hang on. What's neat is they actually have the instructions, like with the THD prop, printed on the box. And there's this big flap here for some reason. Check that out. Can you see in there? There's the rocking chair, I see his hat, I see his boots. Sweet. It's like we're going fishing ourselves inside of the box. All right, let's see what we get. Well, I assume a big chunk of this build is the rocking chair itself. But again, if it did come with the rocking chair, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. So, kudos to you, Home Depot. Here is his seat. Don't actually sit in the chair, by the way. It's probably super flimsy. Here's the back of the chair. Maybe this guy goes to Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel is quite the uh, place for such rocking chairs. All right, and here is his head. Okay, mine has a good, good head. The good news is you can feel the plastic in there, so it's not gonna like get deformed crazily. I will adjust his hat a little bit. Some of the hats at different stores have been weird, but there is his head. It's a fine looking sculpt. It's nothing crazy, but it gets the job done. He is a creepy looking guy. I'm just not crazy about light up eyes. Uh, they kind of take away the realism. And speaking of realism, I'm also not crazy that he catches a skeleton piranha, but you know what? There are worse things. There are worse things, and it's not gonna be a huge concern for me. But it is cool that he's, he comes with this. Look at that. Oh, you gotta be quicker than that. Thankfully, this guy does not look too labor intensive. You can see the chair right there and the instructions, the fish on the pole. There's his head, his body with the mech, and his feet. And that uh, pretty much sums up all the parts you're gonna need to put the fisherman together. <gasps> well, if you've ever wanted to see Haunt Former set up a rocking chair, you are about to get your wish. Because that's exactly what I'm about to do. This is definitely one of the strangest uh, 
setup videos I think I may have ever had to do simply by virtue of building a rocking chair in my room. This will be pretty interesting. Well, I'm gonna guess that these poles, there we go. And it goes like that. I'm really tempted to sit in it, just so you know. I've never been more tempted in my whole life to do anything. Do I dare try? Nope. Nope. So his Velcro on his butt goes right along the back here. And we just gotta make his feet look all purdy. Gonna grab his chest cavity here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Thing is, I'm guessing this goes into the chair. Yeah, okay. Well, that feels secure. That's half the battle if it feels it. Now the thing is, I was mentioning some modifications that I'm going to be doing. Uh, I don't want his uh, face lighting up, or I just kind of want him rocking, basically. When I use him, I'm going to show you what he actually does for the purpose of this review, obviously. But uh, yeah, I'm just not crazy about all that. I'm a simple man. I like just... Rocking with the boys. Ooh, I caught something. My only complaint, uh, Home Depot, as well and as great as you package your stuff, which is a praise, a praiseworthy thing indeed, uh, are these letters that are on everything. I feel like some of it is self-explanatory, and it also you have to like peel them off, and then it looks all cruddy. I don't know, I'm not crazy about the letters. Come on, go on, you stupid thing. Ah, it only took 17 hours. No, I'm just kidding, but I got it. You have to make sure that that's flush on there. And that kind of is supposed to look like he's holding it in his hand. All right, good, we have the headless fisherman. I think we're, I think we're missing something. We gotta give you your noggin, sir. or else you're not gonna be able to see them fish out in the water. See, I can do that too, you know. Right. Here we go. Oh, I guess I should really put these on. Don't forget about these little nuggets. I guess these go on the chair. By the way, before we continue, shout out to Home Depot. They included this cool plastic screwdriver. It screws in those little nut capper things on the bottom of the chair, which is important, by the way, so it doesn't fall apart, but this is just a neat little inclusion. Thanks. <laughs> now, I'm just a little curious devil over here. Oh, he does have volume control. That's nice to know. Well, let's turn him on. Well, it sure is fun. Now, I assume I might have him just doing this out there. Yeah, very creepy. All right, let's actually do the, the right thing now. All right, let's plug him in. See if we get any activation. Why did I sound like Beetlejuice right there? What the heck? Oh! Well, it sure is fine to be back on my favorite spot on the river. There he goes. It's a perfect night for fishing. You can hear the bugs and the crickets in the background. My favorite catch are these big He's got the piranha. They are so there he is. delicious to eat. There's a piranha, baby. Get 
The speaker quality could be a bit better. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll give you that he's loud, but his speaker quality could be a bit better. Um, but he's still very dope, in fact. I, I have to eat some of my words here because I, I said he wasn't that amazing, a little lackluster, but for what you get, he is pretty cool. Well, you saw him here first, folks. Probably not. You probably saw him in Home Depot, but you saw him here anyway. The salt or freshwater, I have no idea because he mentions a crocodile, fisherman. So... From what I gathered from his audio while listening to it a few times to get all these clips, apparently he caught his piranha here, and then a crocodile tries to eat the piranha, even though it's a skeleton, and then he says, hey, this is my catch, and then he goes, oh, it's about to rain, I'm going to go inside, leave. That's his phrase, and he just kind of repeats that. His eyes light up, and the piranha, its eyes and its mouth move sometimes. Uh, it depends on what he's talking about, whether or not this thing does its little activation. Regardless, he continually rocks back and forth. He's got a cool look about him. Uh, I would say he looks more like a freshwater fisherman than a saltwater one, but I think you could you could swing him both ways. He's got the the little um, the little lures here on his vest. I like the orange and green kind of attire and the hat. All very cool. There's no major complaints. I'm just not crazy about him, personally. There's nothing I can really take off points for. For 150 bucks, honestly, it's a very fair price. You get the chair, you get the fish moving, you get him moving and talking. It's a really good value, and we don't get hardly any nautical props, especially a fisherman, and that's a real shame. So it's nice to see one, even if... You know, maybe I wanted to see Monster or something a little more spooky. He still has a creepy design. And overall, for the value, I think he's well worth it if you're going to use him. I'd recommend getting like a blue and a green light maybe. You can see I went back and forth on the two. To find that cool kind of watery, riverside, oceanside balance to him. He's neat. I definitely would recommend him if you can use him in your display. The face is made out of latex, the hands and feet are made out of plastic, obviously the skeletal fish is plastic. He feels pretty secure and I'm looking forward to using him in my Haunted Hayride for 2023. Thank you all so much for watching, I will see you in the next video and remember, for all things Halloween, this is Hauntformer.